Welcome back as I'm brushing the cat hair off me right now. <laughs> We're joined by uh, Ken Grimm, our very own Ken Grimm, who came from all the way down the hall to uh, be on the show today. And we have next our Founders Day. Yes. And this is the, coming up this week. Or well, it actually tomorrow. is tomorrow, yes. Uh, the actual Founders Day is the 17th, but we're celebrating it on Friday and Saturday. And what it is is uh, Nexstar is turning 22 years old, and this is our third annual Founders Day of Caring. And Perry Sook, who is our president and CEO, has taken the Nexstar Broadcasting Group, which started uh, in Pennsylvania uh, June 17, 1996, was the first broadcast. From that point on, uh, it has expanded to the uh, conglomerate that it is now and uh, serving millions of people, uh, hundreds, of, hundreds of markets. And uh, one of the things that makes us so great is, is our communities. And so Perry has said, you know, I always believe that serving the community should be at the heart of every next star nation and so we've kind of taken that to heart uh, and so tomorrow we will be helping the Sonrises uh, Century Trail project we're going to be putting uh, wrapping up and putting a bow on one of the biggest pieces of this and that is the the uh, uh, preview uh, viewing platform uh, this platform was started by uh, as an Eagle Scout service project by Kevin Frankie uh, Kevin Frankie uh, has a twin brother, uh, Keith Frankie, who suffers from a mild uh, form of alt, uh, 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 what am I trying to say? Autism. Autism. Or, yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry. You I, I apologize. <laughs> I had that. It started with an A. Thank you. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, uh, he has been a rider for years at Sunrises, and whenever Kevin was looking for an Eagle Scout project, uh, service project, he looked and uh, saw one of these at another facility and said, we got to have this here. And so with that motivation, he has taken it and ran with it. And of course, the Frankie family, uh, uh, his dad is Kyle Frankie Architect, so he had a little bit of help there with some amazing design features. Uh, the, there is a ramp that has been installed. That was another Eagle Scout service project from Joe Navarro, uh, and that was just completed uh, at the 1st of May. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take 30 tons of decomposed granite and we're going to haul it from a pile over there and we're going to take it to the viewing area and we're going to spread it out evenly, tamp it down. It's going to be the final layer of that floor of that raised elevation. So, so I've got there. my work cut out for me at 8 in the morning tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So if, if, if you all want to come out and see Dan doing a little bit of hard work, come on out. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make that happen. Uh, it's you know, we're gonna have a. I great gotta have my sunscreen in a holster. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> yes, fly right. here. And, and there's there's one other piece to it. The uh, uh, the uh, the seating uh, is concrete seating. It has steel over overhangs. We're gonna put some the roof of, on the overhangs. Okay. And anyway, once that's done, the viewing platform is complete. This is a and sensory trail. A sensory Benform. trail. Uh, the, the riders, of course, they will mount at the ramp, and as they go around the trail, the, uh, they will have different stations to, uh, and, and it, and it uh, stimulates every sense but taste. Uh, so, sight, touch, uh, the, uh, at one, they Maybe may you have, have some more d'oeuvres out there and you can, you can hit yeah. all five. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're, they're, it, it, it's an amazing thing. You, you can Google it and see some other sensory trails that have actually been built. Uh, but they have like little puzzles, uh, colors, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. But as they ride around, they will stop and then interact with those. Uh, and it, it just takes the riding experience to the next level. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, I, I've never been out to St. Reese's myself. Tomorrow's going to be my first time. But really? I know are, it's, it's ah, there. I've for been here for treat. four years. And I think they were actually uh, one of the first guests that we had on like one of my first shows was in recess and uh, i think it was Son yeah, of the it, Pony. It, it is an amazing program uh, humans and their interactions with animals has a a, a huge therapeutic impact mm -hmm. and they have seen some amazing things uh, i think they've even had one person say their first word wow. that they had ever said in their life once they got and started interacting with the animals you know so there there's uh, miracles that go on all the time uh, this is just a piece of this they also have a ropes course in the planning that they've achieved, I think, 90% of funding on. Uh, they're going to uh, establish an outdoor arena. Mm -hmm. Right now, all they can do is ride, ride indoors. So, you know, when it's a beautiful day, they still have to be uh, indoors. Uh, and, and then an oasis. So it's going to be a great project. And we get, I mean, I feel so honored to be a part of this that is going to be there for many years to come. 
and we're going to be able to help people that uh, we'll never be able to have the opportunity to say thank you, mm -hmm. but we do it because we want to. And yeah, we've done Habitat for Humanity, Meals for the Elderly, now we're doing Sunresis. Now Sunresis, yes. Well, amazing, Ken, thank you so much project. for coming on the show, and get back to your office, I guess. Huh? <laughs> yeah, no, hey, go back. Maybe your, your work day's done. Who knows? No, we got to get ready for tomorrow. There yes. we go. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. We'll be right back, everyone.